Hello, my name is Elizabeth O'Donnell. I'm currently a junior studying nutrition and dietetics at the University of New Haven. The topic of my talk today is personal to me. I have been surrounded by nutrition for almost my entire life. I love to cook and have been doing so since I was a toddler. I am also an athlete and I have played many sports growing up. The topic of my talk might not be as personal to the entire public population, but should be an eye opener to the current situation in the United States. Many reasons why obesity is such a problem is displayed on our food. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in America, in 2017 and 2018, the amount of American adults that were obese surpassed 40%. In 2017 and 2018, 42.4% of American adults were obese. Healthcare in this country is expensive. However, with proper nutrition and healthy lifestyle choices, high medical bills can be prevented. Dietitians can prevent and solve many of the problems that obesity has. They could prevent illness and morbidity. Doctors receive many, a lot of education on how to cure and treat illness. However, more education is needed on prevention instead of curing. Obesity can affect physical health, obviously, but it could also affect mental health. Someone's moods, emotions, behaviors, and thoughts can can be altered severely by obesity. We have the answers to solve the problem of obesity, yet they're not so easy to apply. If they were, obesity would not be such a problem. Many Americans are misinformed about health or lack the proper knowledge of nutrition. Every individual is different. If we are all the same, we would all be following the same diet. We would all be eating the same foods. However, some eating habits that work for some might not work for the other. This is why there are so many different diet trends. If we all follow the same diet, we would, this would all be successful for us, but we are all different. It is also hard to decrease the amount of foods that are, taste good, but are not good for us in America. Ameri unhealthy eating is also advertised more and more accessible than healthy eating. Fast food companies have drive throughs It is very hard to find farm stands that have drive throughs Picking up food and reheating it that is already pre-made and buying food from restaurants is easier than buying fresh ingredients and ma making a meal yourself. We also see more commercials and advertisements for unhealthy eating than healthy eating. We see a lot of commercials for sugary foods and fast food companies. It's harder to find healthy food commercials. Food also exists everywhere. We eat when we are happy, we eat when we are sad, we eat at parties, we eat at events, gatherings, get-togethers, and other social events. Food is what is keeping us alive. We cannot survive without it, yet many people die each year from the foods they eat. Food is very powerful. Laws need to be made to change the ingredients that go into food. There are many unnatural ingredients, GMOs, and processed ingredients. Over time, food companies have incorporated these into their products. Obesity in America has not always been this apparent. Over time, they, food companies have incorporated more unnatural ingredients. Obesity in other countries is also not as apparent because they simply do not have the same tools, resources, and processed ingredients that America has. With the growing population, sustainability is very important. This method can help prevent food waste, better the earth, and provide a better environment for ourselves. It is not as hard as you think to live a sustainable life. Not only will sustainability help better our environment and our earth, but it will provide better health for us in the future. Easy ways that many people can live a sustainable life include using a refillable water bottle instead of buying plastic water bottles from the store each time, eating seasonally, eating more plant-based foods like nuts, legumes, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and buying from farmer's markets. A lot of foods being sold to supermarkets in America is processed and contains unnatural ingredients. These foods are also high in calories, sugar, sodium, and saturated fat. 
I will never forget a couple years ago going to the grocery store with two of my friends. I was looking at, we were looking at the sugary cereals and I pointed out how much sugar was in one of them. My friend said, oh, I didn't realize there was so much sugar in the cereal and that she said she only looks for calories. This is why food labels need to be changed because many do not understand them or do not know how to properly read them. We also need to change the serving size on food products as well. Many people do not eat the serving size that is on food products. Food products could also be misleading. A food product could be labeled low in saturated fat. However, this food could also be high in sugar. If you take fat out of a food such as cookies, cake, brownies, or ice cream, it will no longer taste good. So food companies feel the need to add more sugar so it will st still taste good. So now this product is low in saturated fat, but it is, however, high in sugar. Many factors from food companies can also help this crisis as well. Companies can change out their ingredients for healthier alternatives that still taste appealing. They do not need as much unnatural ingredients and ingredients that many people cannot pronounce or know what they are. Many probably do not know that the ingredients also starts out by listing the most ing abundant ingredients first. So if a food product lists sugar first, it is highest in sugar and of any other ingredient. Organic products are more expensive and not everyone can afford the best nutrition for themselves and their families. Poverty is a major factor for the obesity rates in America. Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, also known as SNAP, is helping with this problem. SNAP helps more than 44 million Americans each year, which is about 14% of the total American population. Not only is SNAP helping with people who are financially unstable, but they are giving more Americans who do not have the funds to buy healthy meals a healthy meal. More education on nutrition and healthy lifestyles should be provided to children starting at a young age so they could jump on healthy habits as soon as possible. Children to get a better education need to have fresh meals in their diet. Many of the cafeterias across the United States have lunches that are just heated up in the microwave instead of freshly made to order. One organization that is helping with this problem and taking these matters into consideration is Salad Bars to Schools. Salad Bars to Schools' goal is to provide more salad bars in cafeterias and provide more education to students on healthy eating and healthy lifestyles and nutrition and wellness. Restaurants also play a large factor in the obesity rates in America today. Restaurants that have a lot of chains locations are already required to list out their nutritional facts to their customers. However, this should be apparent for all restaurants across the entire United States, for every restaurant to list out their nutrition facts to customers. This might cause restaurants to change their ingredients of their products so it could be more health conscious and be more appealing to their customers. However, this might not work because many fast food restaurants and restaurants in general already list out their very unnutritious food products with nutrition facts that are not healthy and they have no shame in doing it. If we do not change the obesity problem we have today in America, this will be our future. A lot of the changes we can receive to help the problem comes from the government. However, in the past couple of years, even decades, little to no help or change has been made from the government. Education and change are probably the two most important factors in making obesity rates decline. Small impacts that we make today and small changes that we make today will impact our future greatly and have a large impact on our future. If we start changing the meat, foods we eat and looking towards dietitians and changing how we educate doctors and how we can prevent instead of cure obesity, we will no longer have as high as an obesity rate. So 
Providing better health practices today and implementing better health laws today as well will provide for a healthier tomorrow as well as healthier children and healthier adults. This can be helped. This is predicted our future, but it doesn't have to be our future. 